Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy. We are continuing our 2023 external exams playlist here today by looking at two multiple choice questions um, from the general maths paper on finance. I know these are probably your least favorite topics, um, but getting a good understanding of these through watching some practice videos is always a good way to improve. So we're looking at question 11 and 12. Question 11 says, an annuity with an initial zero balance has $500 deposited at the end of every month. The annuity earns 4.8% per annum interest, compounding monthly. At the end of the fourth month, the balance is closest to, and we've got four choices. So firstly, let's get our formula sheet out. We've been told it's an annuity. So let's find our recurrence relation, because we're looking for a balance after a certain number of months. And the best way to do that is to use a recurrence relation. So let's find that one for annuities. It's right there on the formula sheet. So let's write that down. Now we know that the value R here is not our interest rate. R is equal to one plus the interest rate. So that's probably the first thing you need to be aware of here. So we're gonna to need to work out what that interest rate is by stating some of our variables. So it's gonna be one plus. Now that's that interest rate as a decimal here. We change that from a percentage to a decimal, which means we take that on our calculator, 4.8 divided by 100 gives us 0.048. One of the most common things I see happening with my students is they forget that that's compounded monthly, so they forget to divide that by 12. Um, so don't forget. Okay, that makes that 1.004. That is my value for R. So we've found this first variable that we're gonna put into our calculator. Our next one is to work out, well, what is it at the start of the loan? That is at time zero, N will be equal to zero. And then our value for D is our regular deposit. That's 500 there. So I've stated all my variables. Um, obviously don't need to do that level of working to the nth degree because it is multiple choice and we do try and work through these fairly quickly. However, knowing what your variables are is a really important thing to work through so that you get the answer correct. Okay, so what we could do is we could actually put this into our calculator. So what I could do on the calculator is just start with zero, add 500 and timesing it by the interest rate. That gets a little bit complicated if you're not really good at using an iterative function. But we're gonna actually do this with repeated use of the recurrence relation, which is all the, the iterative function really is on the calculator. But we're gonna do it on working on paper so you can see where the numbers are coming from. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I recognize at time zero, I've got $500. After a month, at the end of the month, at the beginning of time um, one or at the end of the first month, I've now got $500 that I've deposited into the account. Now it's not gonna earn any interest. Remember with annuities, they don't earn interest in that first month. They only start earning interest from that second period. So in period two, I'm gonna take that 500 that was in there in the first month and I'm gonna multiply that by my value for R and then add 500, which will give me $1,002. Now that becomes my amount for the beginning of period three. So I'm gonna take that 1,002 times it again by 1.004 and then get an answer and then add 500. And then I get 1,506. And then at the end of the fourth month, that should say A4, um, it's got 1.004 times the answer from before add 500, you get $2,012.03. Now it says the balance is closest to. So if we look here, um, they've rounded these off to whole numbers. It's closest to C. And we're now onto our second and final finance question for multiple choice, which I'm sure you're relieved about. A reducing balance loan with an initial balance of $6,000 is modeled by the recurrence relation. And then it tells us what that looks like. So they've actually given us it's very similar to the previous question. It's a type of annuity that's called a reducing balance loan. So in this case here, we've got this interest rate was 3% and that's divided by 12. So once again, this is obviously compounding monthly. We times that by the amount at the beginning. We're told that's $6,000 and then we take 400 away. So as we did with the previous question, we're gonna find that recurrence relation on our formula sheet. That helps us to get a bit of a picture of what's going on. This R is the repayment. This, that's our value for R in there. And so just seeing where it is on the formula sheet helps you to get a picture. Ah, oh, I'm gonna use a recurrence relation. I'm gonna repeat that twice. Okay, so once again, could do it on the iterative function on your calculator. Oh, you could just do it by working on paper with repeated use of that recurrence relation. 
So I start at time zero with $6,000. At the end of the first month, I'm going to um, take $400 out after I've calculated the interest. So I'm going to multiply R by 6,000, take the 400 away. I get 5,616. Now I've got to do that one more time for the end of the second month. So I take this value from the previous answer, bring it down here, multiply that by the interest, take $400 for my repayment away, and I get $5,229.04. And once again, this is a closest two question. So we're looking at rounding. It's closest to, if I was to round that down, it'd be 5,229. However, that's not an option. It's closest to, out of these four options, 5,230, which makes the answer D. Well, did you find this video helpful? I sure hope so. That's why I do it. So if you did, why not like and subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you'll always know when the next video is avail available. And even while you're up there doing that, why not consider super like, that's that dot, dot, dot. You can give back a dollar or two to the channel to say thanks. Another thing you could think about is telling someone about the video. Why not tell us in the comments or share the video on your class one note or with a family member or a friend. And you can always meet me on Facebook and Instagram as well. If you've got any questions at all, the best place to reach us is mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. And don't forget, we have a free resource available on annuities and finance. So if you're wanting to see a big flow chart of what to do in what situation, why not write to us at the channel and request that flow chart? It's free. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I'm Natalie McClatchy. Have a fantastic day.